first monsoon season here in Bangladesh and in this region uh, it's very very wet. Today while I was sitting in the discussion with Rohingya women in the camp outside it was just pouring for 45 minutes to an hour and it was clear that you know even in a reasonably well-built shelter space uh, the onslaught of the rain was so strong that I sat there wondering how people can get by when hours and hours of rain is pouring in very very fragile shelters. In August it gets worse uh, sometimes as high as two-thirds of the country can be underwater I've just had a chance to meet the mobile uh, health surgeon that includes um, a doctor, a midwife, and a nurse, and others who go around the camps to help people who need healthcare support. And what's really fantastic about programs like that is that, given the conditions, it's actually really, really important for services like this to be available because uh, it's much harder for uh, people to get to um, a clinic uh, and. It's particularly difficult for women, for children, and for the elderly. People wanted to talk about what happened to them and their families before they came here. Uh, I've heard horrific stories. I didn't feel prepared to hear the stories that I've heard this morning. It's remarkable what's happening here, given the circumstances. In the way that the Rohingya population have adapted to life in this camp here in Bangladesh, trying to build a life here, trying to be self-sufficient, trying to uh, provide uh, support to one another. 